go around here for you. And this is what it's all about. Those puppies are going to go into grow into adults and they need as much nutrition as they possibly can. It's really interesting to see the adults stay back and let the puppies have their fill. How fantastic is that dog? That adult male, that alpha male there, how perfect condition he's in. You can see him panting. He's uh might lay in some shade now for a little minute, have a bit of a rest, but he's still on the lookout. Absolutely on the lookout. So we'll just stay with these guys. I'm just going to let uh, some other radios know. All uh, stations, uh, Wild Dog, I'm still with uh, about 500 meters from uh, main gate, uh, just let me come back to you. Uh, good morning all radios, uh, Wild Earth here. We are about uh, 500 metres down from the Gowrie Gate on uh, the Gowrie Buffalo Shore Cut Line uh, on Sandy Patch Road, uh, just with the wild dog pups and uh, adults. Uh, just one vehicle. Anyone that would like to join us, uh, please welcome. Cleaning that, really cleaning that. This is Wild Earth, uh, Wild Earth uh, on Juma, uh, about 500 metres down from the Gowrie main gate on the Gowrie Buffalo Shook uh, cut line, just on the corner of Sandy Patch Road uh, with Wild Dog. Uh, one vehicle on site. Just got a um, a message uh, from John from Stamford. Uh, how long will it take uh, the dogs to finish this? It'll only be a few minutes more. They'll eat as much as they can from this carcass, and then um, they'll move on. If you have a look at the other dogs over here, uh, we've got one, two, three, four adults lying down resting. Uh, they've just put some work in this morning. And they're just resting and let the pups let the pups feed. really working and if you have a look at that there's no uh, competition there they're not there's no commotion they're all getting into it getting on it's a really interesting uh, thing with wild dog there's a real peace and tranquility um, within the pack and they um, they don't squabble like lions do uh, or hyena they definitely um, have a very very relaxed strategy when it comes to feeding. 
really making short work of that. And that food is incredibly important for the survival of these puppies. We just had a question from Gail from Warwick uh, in the United Kingdom and she wants to know how old the puppies they are and uh, we have it on good information from one of the wild dog specialists around here, Grant Beverly, that these are about four months old. Um, <laughs> so just when I said there was no squabbling, uh, that's a bit of play more than anything. And a little bit of squabbling about the last bits I'm sure. It's got to be a bit of uh, that behaviour, particularly whoever's going to be one of the more superior. But look at that adult. Morning, buddy. How are you, mate? I knew you couldn't hear me, mate. I was just trying to get it out, and if you, as long as you got sort of a little bit of the location, I was hoping you'd just search. I do apologise, mate. So frustrating. I couldn't hear. I can hardly hear anyone on it as well. I'm going to have to check it out at lunchtime. A question from Larry in Florida uh, whether these adults will continue to feed and absolutely Larry they will uh, they're opportunistic hunters and uh, once the pups have had their fill they uh, might continue there's a lot of mouths to feed there so uh, they might have a bit of a rest and then uh, carry on but um, that little lamb is only enough to feed her. the pups probably one of the adults uh, they'll probably look for something else they might have a short rest and then carry on but we've already got an alpha male um, looking around over the other side here no I didn't mate Okay, man. Thank you so much, Ryan. Thank you, mate. That's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, mate. So healthy. Sorry, guys.